Workman's Warehouse, and today we're just going to go over the basics of how to season a Dutch oven. First, when you purchased your Dutch oven, it will come with a protective coating on the cast iron just to keep it from rusting at the manufacturer. Once you get it home, you want to wash it in a hot soapy water, thoroughly dry it, and then you want to stick it in your conventional oven at home at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. Leave your lid on. After 30 minutes, you want to take the oven out, but let it cool down to the touch. Uh, if you remove your lid, you want to remove it away from you, not towards you. Uh, sometimes, potentially, there can be some flare-up. If you've let it cool properly, that should not be an issue at all. Once you've done this, then you're ready to apply oil. <clears throat> Simply take the lid off your Dutch oven and pour in some vegetable oil, or you can use cast iron conditioner and coat the entire inside and outside of the Dutch oven. Once you've done this, then you just want to simply repeat the steps, 350 degrees for 30 minutes, lid on, take it out, and let it cool. Once you've done that, then you should have a pretty good seasoning on your cast iron. Most of the manufacturers these days are putting their ovens out pre-seasoned, so you don't have a lot of work to do to begin with. But once you've done that, once you've opened up the pores in that cast iron, and you've got that oil in there and baked in good, then you're pretty much ready to start cooking. From there, if you don't want to do it in your conventional oven at home, you can do it on a barbecue. Uh, put it at about medium heat on the barbecue and put it in there, lid on, and when it stops smoking, that's basically the time you're ready to take the Dutch oven out of your barbecue. And uh, again, you can do this a couple times to get a real good seasoning on it, but from there you should be about ready to go cooking. My name is Ken with Sportsman's Warehouse. Have a good day.